Hey, what's going on, guys? IO Studios here for another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys uh, a really cool way of denoising your Octane renders rather than letting it render for forever, you know? So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you here. We have, uh, I have, I made a scene here, a little test scene. So, we have a reference image of 256 samples um, rendered of the scene. I could have done more, but I'm just doing 256 because I think that looks good enough for now. Okay, this is not denoised. 256 samples, it took about three minutes to render. Okay, go to the next one. This is 32 samples. So that is, um, what is it, eight times less samples. Eight times faster render times. Um, this one took like I think 20 seconds, something like that, uh, 25 seconds. And you can see it is, you know, they are very similar. You know, it's like the noise levels are pretty similar on both of them. So already, you can see this denoiser is absolutely insane at doing this. Um, and comparing them here, uh, the downsides, you look uh, at the, you know, the, the, um, the asphalt texture here. It is losing a bit of, whoops, it is losing a bit of detail in the asphalt texture. But it is also uh, denoising the image. Like, I, um, I don't have the original here, but it is very noisy. Um, and, uh, it, it does lose a bit of detail in the, you know, as I said, in the ground texture, but that's like, you know, that's to be expected. Um, okay. The next thing we have is we have a 16 sample render here. I can see the, the ground texture here or the, the asphalt texture. It's, it's kind of blurry. It's not too bad, but it is a bit. And, um, I'm going to show you now the reference of 256 samples. And you can see the 16 sample is definitely, uh, it's, it's a bit darker. The colors aren't as vibrant. Definitely there's nowhere near as much detail in the, um, what's called, in the asphalt. But considering it renders 16 times faster, you know, this took like, I think, about 8 seconds, 10 it was it was something like that. I can't remember exactly, but it was very, very quick render. Um, and this is at 1080p, by the way. And you can see this is a very, very... Um, pretty clean render, you know, for being 16 samples and denoised. Uh, you, you can also use this denoiser on things like, like, unbelievably small amounts, like four samples. You can denoise a four sample image and it will look, you know, you don't get as much detail because that's just the problem with the noise is there just isn't the detail there to be recovered, but it still turns out really good. So I'm going to show you how to use this plugin now. Okay. So here we have our, uh, 16 sample, uh, image. This is the original. You can see it's very noisy here. And I'm just going to go ahead and... So this plugin, by the way, does cost $100, but it is worth every penny. Believe me, it is going to save you. It is worth, like, so many graphics cards. It is worth, like, take your current graphics card setup, multiply it by, like, at least two or three, and you have, like, you know, that's how much this plugin is going to save you. Anyway, um, so go to Effect. It's under, under Neat Video. Reduce Noise. Uh, and prepare. So, um, we have to basically choose an area. We want to choose an area which has like a good amount of, like, has like quite a bit of noise, but not like, can't be inconsistent. Like, you can't choose something like here. Uh, it'll say area not uniform because, you know, you have partially the sphere and partially the ground. You can't do that. You know, you have to choose somewhere that is consistent, that has a consistent noise level. So, somewhere like here, it's not really uniform, but we can choose maybe like this. See here, and it says area not uniform, but it, it you know it doesn't really matter. It's it's okay. It's good enough. Actually, no, maybe we'll, we'll actually grab one over here. Okay, we'll grab our sample over here. So this is just kind of the sampling area where the the neat video is going to try to figure out what um what's going on with the noise. We'll just do like that. That's good enough. Auto profile, uh, whatever sample area is small, and we go to noise reduction settings, <clears throat> and you can already see we are getting a quite a pretty good denoise here. But on the edges here, it's still noisy. So the temporal filter, I don't think that adjusts too much. Let's see here. Spatial. You know, it's just a matter of tweaking these so that you get, like, a still, you, you get detail, but, it's, but it's, you know, it's denoised. The luminance, I find that generally bringing this thing down, luminance generally bringing that down, you know, bringing it all the way up doesn't give you too much extra noise reduction, but bringing it down definitely does help recover some detail here. You can see max um, minimum here. It definitely recovers a lot more detail and the, the noise is pretty subtle that it brings. So that's pretty good there. Let's see here, adjust the noise level maybe. We don't want too much. 
you do want it to look pretty good. And you can already see here, you know, that's that's pretty much it. Original. So I'm click clicking this and um it denoised it pretty good. Obviously I did this quickly just for the video, but um you know you're gonna have to play with these settings because for each scene it's gonna be different. So the temporal filter, just kind of play around with that. Usually one or two is good enough. You don't want to bring that up too much. I'm just explaining, you know, what the settings are. So uh, spatial noise level, the higher this is, the more it's going to denoise. The lower it is, it'll, you know, it actually already says here, positive values, more elements are considered noise, fewer. Uh, the description is right there. Okay. Uh, the luminance, um, more reduction of detected noise. Yeah, that's pretty much what that does. So the luminance is pretty much like once it knows what's noise, you know, how much should it actually reduce? Or how much it thinks is noise. Generally, I turn off the luminance because, like it, you you get a lot more. Well, you know, a considerable amount of more detail with the luminance off. Sharpening. Now, this is something um, I don't use it really. You might for your scene though. If you need a lot of texture detail, and you know, uh, you might you might want to do that might want to uh, enable sharpening and the sharpening settings are just, you know, they're pretty straightforward. So we'll just apply that and you can already see here, you know, it's, it's crazy. The, the difference. Um, so that's how you use that plugin. I will leave a link to the website in the description and it is amazing. It will save you so much time for your renders. Um, and even if you have like a render with that took a long time, really high quality render, even if you have just a little bit of subtle noise, this will help completely eliminate all that, like just even like subtle shadow noise, you know, that you can barely notice unless you look closely. This plugin is amazing for that. So yeah, definitely go uh, do and check this out. Check out this plugin. It is going to help you so much. All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. Leave a like, uh, subscribe to my channel to support me, and I will see you later. Bye.